Let's go. Hey guys, this is Rod Young, Rod Young Travels, and I uh, wanted to talk to you today about this trip that I took. Um, but first, what if I were to tell you that your history books are wrong? What if I were to tell you that Christopher Columbus, um, when he came here, he didn't encounter savages. Uh, he may have seen people living in teepees and huts and throwing spears and, and arrows and bows and all of that. But what you don't know is that before Christopher Columbus, there was an ancient civilization here uh, that thrived and they had big houses and they had little houses and that's what they call them. They call them great houses and little houses. This, this civilization was in New Mexico and it's called the Chaca culture. And I took a trip to the Chaca culture national historic park, which is a world heritage site. And you don't get to be a world heritage site unless you, you're an ancient civilization like a Machu Picchu or, you know, that, but, and these folks all may share DNA with pre-Columbian Machu Picchu. Uh, and so they kind of migrated upwards from uh, South America, but they were here, you know, anywhere from the 850s. And then in, in the Chaco uh, canyons, they were there from, I want to say 900s to the 1250s and wasn't living in teepees or huts. They were actually living in great houses and I had a chance to, you know, go there. Now to get there, it's 21 miles of dirt road in New Mexico before you can get to the, you know, the, the reservation or the, the uh, national park. So did all of that, got, finally got there. And of course the national park section, it was paved, but I had to go through dirt roads to get there. Uh, anyway, beautiful place. Uh, it's quiet, it's very, very spiritual there. And it's like in the middle, literally in the middle of nowhere. So it's, you know, it's, you can see the stars. It's a deafening silence. Which is, which is amazing. I can only imagine what they did when they were there. Um, so first day I got there, I got a, I got there early enough to where I could actually take a hike. And I took this hike over an overlooked cliff that I think is like a mile and a half, maybe two miles. And uh, it's just beautiful. Hey guys, we are staring at the uh, Chaco Culture National Park. Uh, and I hope I pronounce it right, Chaco, is C-H-A-C-O. Uh, I don't even know where to begin to explain how this is and what this is, but this is ancient ancient civilization here uh, I'm, I'm talking ancient I mean before the Indians before I mean this is like during the Mayan times and these may actually be uh, Mayans who migrated from Mexico up here uh, but this is the is kind of like a uh, it was a central trading post uh, at the time and we're talking you know thousands and thousands of years ago before there was an America before there was Navajo before there were Cherokee Indians this is this is ancient I mean this is at a time where a lot of this was water I mean there was a ocean between um, Arizona and Texas there was an ocean this was a strategic trading area even back then so I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, later but and this is on the um, one of the National Historic Places. Next day I got up and I had a chance to go to it on a trail and it's called the Ouija, Ouija and it's I think it's W-I-J-I-J-I-W -I 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 so it's Ouija G I think uh, so this was a uh, three mile hike and in order to hike it you had to go through these uh, paths and uh, what it did was this Ouija G was a structure that is an ancient structure and it has the uh, the brick and everything on there. Really cool hike. Uh, it's in the middle of the canyons and uh, of course the scenery is beautiful, but that wasn't exactly what I wanted to see or where I was actually going to see. The next day, I got a chance to actually see the things that I wanted to see. So the Ouija G I think was a great house also, but the other houses that I saw the next day 
were amazing. There were, you know, there were houses that were three, uh, three acres, houses that sit on three acres. Uh, the largest one was, um, I believe it was Pueblo Bonita, which is the, one of the greatest houses that I've seen, uh, that I saw there. And it's very large and it had event centers, uh, amazing architecture. Uh, it had three levels. Most of the great houses were three levels. Um, and uh, it was just amazing. And it's, you think, okay, these are not primitives. The people who came here were great architects. They were great planners. This uh, Pueblo Bonito had a um, an open air marketplace where people would come and sell goods. And uh, it had all of these different small rooms and large rooms and it had these circular, I think they call them keys. And uh, that's where people had, you know, had meetings and things. So it wasn't, wasn't a, um, it wasn't primitives. It wasn't those. It wasn't spear chuckers and all that kind of stuff, as your history books would, you know, have you believe. And what if I were to tell you that Texas and New Mexico was divided by an ocean, and this location, the Chaco Culture, the uh, National Park, was actually a seaport. If you consider the ocean was between New Mexico and Texas. So it was a, strategically lo a strategic location where people from the south would come up and trade wares with people that, you know, in the north, whether it's California or going, going further north. But it was a very, very well-placed strategic outpost for markets and trading and that type thing. So uh, when, when people tell you that it was, uh, you know, Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492, this was, you know, at least four or five hundred years before Christopher Columbus, and it was a civilization. It was an architecture. architecture. So it was really great, and I enjoyed it. The next day, though, um, I got a call from the ranger and says, listen, you may want to leave now because these are, uh, you know, this area is going to, you know, it may flood because they're going to have a snow. It was a snowstorm. Uh, so it was a major snowstorm in, in uh, New Mexico. So... I jetted out of there, but man, got back on that dirt road. Going, when I got on the dirt road to come, I saw these beautiful horses. They were amazing. And leaving, I saw the same horses. And they really looked at me like, hey, I'm glad you could come out here. I don't know if they were the spirit of something that was already out there and that's been out there forever, but they were like, hey, glad you could come out here. Don't forget about us. Talk about us. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So this is Rodney Young Travels. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let's go.